put on the whole armor of God, uh -huh. that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. Against the wise of the devil, because what does the devil come to do? Right? You know what I want? See who you made a vow? Yes. All right. So what does the devil come to do? The Bible says put on the whole armor of God. Right? What does armor do? It protects you, right? So you get hit. I ain't gonna say you get hit with a bullet, but and it bounces off, right? But moderately, it says uh, if you put on armor, it should shield you in such a way. You see what we see what we saying? So if you know if somebody comes against you spiritually, you'll be able to defend yourself. All right. So put on the whole armor of God. Read the book of First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. Uh huh. Be sober. Be vigilant. Right, we just read this. It says be sober, right? If you still smoking cigarettes, smoking black and mild, smoking weed, getting high, shooting up drugs, you don't have the armor of God because the, God, the, the Lord God of Israel is not protecting you. How could he? How can, how can the Lord protect you if all you want to do is go to prison? My father is not going to meet me in prison. Right. He's going to wait till I get my mind right, meet me on the other side of the gates, right? And when I say, okay, I think I want to live a right life. I want to follow down a good path. Now he can, okay, I can deal with you now. But if you still talking about some, you in the midst of fornication, you still want to do this, still want to do your own thing. Fine, your ass belong in jail. Right. You see, read. Be sober, be vigilant. Be vigilant, be very watchful, very mindful of your spirit. What's good for your spirit, right? If there's music that you're listening to that's not good for your spirit and it takes you back to your clubbing days, should you be listening to it? Teach. You see, if you're still watching porn, should you be watching porn? No, because what, is it, what does it promote? It promotes whoredom. Teach. Right. It promotes whoredom, you see? Read on. Read on. My sister, you're an Israelite. You know that? You're an Israelite and you gotta repent or you gonna die here in America. Read on. Be sober, be vigilant. Read. Because your adversary. Your opposer, your oppressor, read. The devil. The what? The devil. The devil, read. As a roaring lion. Uh-huh. Walketh about seeking who he may devour. And the lion is very, very patient. Believe it or not, these lions, their IQs are very much higher than the gazelle. The gazelle, they can only, they only follow, follow their patterns, right? They, they look up, then they look down and they sip the water. They look up, they look down, they, they might look around. Their ears are very keen, that's what they do. But the lion, before they even know it, before that, the gazelle even knows it, it's crouching, right? But they, they in the midst, they sitting back, they in the grass, the tall grass fields, right? And they're watching their prey. They learn to hunt from small, right? So read that part again. Um, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Seeking which one is dumb. Seeking whom he may devour. Which one is not paying attention? Which one is not being vigilant? Which one is uh, docile? Don't know who they are. Right? Right. Don't, uh, which, which is the easiest target? Right? But if you got on fringes, uh, which one? Yeah, maybe I'll choose somebody else today. I don't feel like battling with this guy. Right. He might know a little something. Right. But I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and deceive this man right here. He look like he's smoking weed. He look like he, he look like he like to have a good time. That's right. Let me offer a little bit of this to him. Uh huh. Let me, uh, let me send a hole that way to him. To him. You see what we saying? So, or, or let me send him a birthday gift. Or, or, let me, let me, let me put, let me give him a, a, a gift, right, and give him a false image, right? Because he don't know too much about this. Now, small. yeah, it can be very small. That's right. Right? And, and, and the devil can use your mother. The devil, the devil use, he can use your people. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be built up and have the armor of God to, to be able to resist the wiles of the devil. All right? Because uh, uh, your, 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 your soul is at hand right now. Your soul is at stake. Right. All right. So the laws are, are perfect, and we understand this. So you have to put on God's commandments. You got to put on the laws of God. This is how you build the, the chinks in your armor right now. So you get on fringes. Boom. That's the breastplate. Right. You see what we're saying? Then you then you uh, then you start keeping the Sabbath day holy. That's another piece of armor. That's your that's your other your armbands. 
rebuilt. You getting rebuilt. All praise. And your spirit is uplifting. Bring it out. And then we gonna start to see the light. Give me uh, give me that in Matthew. Give me that in Matthew. Then we gonna start to see the light. Then these women can't approach you in any other kind of way, right? Cause you're, uh, you, you, are you married? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> First of all, that's that's right. But you gotta start seeing yourself as a king. We can't just look at the man and he's he's damaged internally. We gotta rebuild the spirit, right? Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse sixteen. That's it. Let your light so shine right. before men. Before men. So that whole armor of God that you're putting on is the fringes, the you know the commandments of the Lord. All right. So the Bible says, "Let your light therefore shine before men." Right. Shine before men. So what is the light? We just said it. Give me that in Proverbs. Hold that. Give me that in Proverbs. What is the light? You're gonna see how the Bible is very redundant because our people are very simple. <laughs> the, the Lord, like a parent, has to tell them time and time and time and time again. And we'll get in trouble by the same thing that was written from the very beginning. There's no new commandment. The only thing that is that is new is, uh, is the fact that the Negro is new. So if the Negro mind is new, we got to we gotta be relearned. You see? The same thing is being taught. It's just that, it's just that the niggas is new. <laughs> right. You see? We went from this captivity and we learned the Egyptian customs. Right. We went to Babylon, we learned the Babylonian customs. So we became an Egyptian Negro. Right. Then we became a Babylonian Negro. Right. Then we became a Persian and Mede Negro, right. right? And now we're a what Negro? We're an American nigga, you see? Yeah. So there's nothing new in this Bible. We've been learning the same thing over and over from our, for, our, our father. Okay, let's get this. The book, the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandments is a lamp. A lamp does what? It shines. Read. And the law. And the what? And the law. Read. Is light. Is light. Is light. Now go back. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Uh-huh. Let your light so shine let before that, men. Let that lamp. That light, which is the what? The law, right? The, law. the commandments. The law. Let your light, let your commandments shine before men. Shine before men. Why does that? Why does that black man? I'm a black man. Why does this black man have fringes on? Why does this black man no longer eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster? Right. Why does this black man, right? My cousin, my uncle, my brother, my father. Why does he? Why does he no longer celebrate birthdays with me anymore? Let your light shine. Because what they're seeing now is the God that's in you. What they're seeing now is, is the uh, the king, the, the whole armor of God is what they're seeing now in Marcellus. Right? Read. That they may see your good works. Your good works. The only good works is what exists in this Bible. Right. And that's the what? The laws of God. What is nature? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the